Hi guys, <clears throat> it is a lovely Sunday night <coughs> here in the end times and I just, uh, <laughs> I just have to, you know, I need to be very careful about IRS videos that I make, <coughs> that I have no problem making this one. So I was uh, reading this article about how <coughs> I guess Joe Biden has added 4,000 IRS customer service agents to help people with their IRS tax issues. On the mainstream media, this long article uh, talking about how finally some taxpayer money being put to good use by paying IRS agents to actually help people. And of course, the barrage of hate mail uh, at the end of this article, just howling in derision about how the Internal Revenue Service has ever helped anybody in their entire life. So, one more time, just in case you have never heard me have a rant about the Internal Revenue Service, and I, <coughs> and I need to keep them to a bare minimum, I want to state my position this is Ham on Little Tail's position on the Internal Revenue Service <coughs> once and for all and forever. Anybody claiming that, you know, the IRS is the spawn of Satan. <coughs> My comment on Yahoo News, which was actually printed on Yahoo News without being uh, ripped down, <coughs> The Internal Revenue Service has saved me more money over the past 20 years than Walmart ever could. I have had nothing but friendly, professional service from them every time. I have had <coughs> every time <coughs> I had an issue come up with them, and each time the issue was resolved to beyond my wildest satisfaction. I know a lot of private corporate service organizations who could learn a lot from the fine customer service agents at the IRS. Keep up the great job, guys. If anybody reading this thinks one word of this comment is a joke, obviously, they have no clue how to approach the IRS. It is called remembering to use the golden rule on a coiled rattlesnake. You may be surprised by the outcome. <coughs> and what I would... Uh, add to that, and um, I didn't put this in the comment. So guys, uh, the, the number one what you do not ever do with the Internal Revenue Service, if you want to have my level of satisfaction with the Internal Revenue Service, okay, do not ever hire a lawyer, do not ever threaten to hire a lawyer. Do not bring the word lawyer up anywhere in your conversation with the IRS. I don't care how irate you are. If you bring up the word lawyer with the Internal Revenue Service, there are exactly two people who are going to win from that deal. Your lawyer and the IRS lawyer, okay? Uh, deal with the IRS on your own terms. At the end of the day, these IRS, and, and the word agents, and I'm talking the customer service agents, at the help desk, if you approach them uh, with, uh, with the right attitude of, uh, you know, you're, you're dealing with other 
people just like you. There are other people uh, who have the same problems that you do. They're, they're trying to get through another goddamn day uh, 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 of being despised and ridiculed and uh, you, you know, rough smeared across the comment section of the mainstream media. Just treat the actual person you're talking to who has an unbelievable amount of power to save you a shit load of money with the flick of a switch. You need to understand this. These customer service agents, they all they gotta do, guys, is they gotta go bink. And they can save you thousands of dollars. Okay? If I can keep from popping off to the Internal Revenue Service, anybody can. My mama did not raise a fool. You do not pop off to a coiled rattlesnake, especially a coiled rattlesnake who is just another person trying to make it through their miserable, puny little life just like you are. But it is unbelievable how, how many people won't listen to, to this unbelievably simple advice, how to deal with the IRS. It's like you deal with anybody. Treat the person you are dealing with the way you would like to be treated if the, uh, if the roles were reversed. If you were sitting in their seat looking at you, how would you want to be treated by somebody uh, coming there asking for help? It's not rocket science, guys. Anyway, I have been giving this IRS advice for years, I don't know if anyone has ever listened to one word. If you would listen to me, this would be your comment to the Internal Revenue Service. I love the Internal Revenue Service. Enough said. Bye, guys.